One in every 10 teenagers say a boyfriend or a girlfriend has physically abused them. It's just a portion of a larger domestic violence problem here in East Tennessee. On average, the Knoxville 911 Center gets a call for help with a domestic violence situation every 30 minutes. 10 News reporter Cole Sullivan introduces us to two people trying to stop the problem where it often starts. Freshman year of high school. Cole. Robin, they've spoken to more than 20,000 of Knoxville's high schoolers. For Emily Ann Buck, it's a mission and a story that's deeply personal. He was the guy that all the girls had crushes on. He was charming. He was everything that you would want in somebody. At 15, Emily Ann Buck thought her freshman year boyfriend was perfect. You are head over heels for this person. They could do no wrong. But at some point, there's a turning point. He uh, you know, was very aggressive with me, calling me names. The verbal abuse was just the start, but she did not think anything was wrong. That time in my life, people always asked, does he abuse you? And I said, no. And the reason I said no, because when I was a 15 year old girl, I thought abuse was just being hit in the face. Well, there's three warning signs of an abuser. They're extremely jealous. They want to control your behavior and they want to isolate you from family and friends. David Kitts manages KPD's special crimes unit. That's why we're going to ninth graders is because we want to tell these freshmen what to look out for so that way they don't fall victim to an abusive individual. So I share this story of hope and restoration with teenagers or adults to let them know that you don't always have to stay in the brokenness. After the presentations to freshmen, they say students as young as 15 come up to them and share their own stories. I don't say go break up with him because that usually doesn't work. I, I tell them, hey, I'm here to support you. If you want to talk about it, it's a really hard, vicious cycle that we as loved ones see and it's frustrating. For parents, if you're worried about your children and their relationships, they, these experts say talk to your kids and be on the lookout if their boyfriend or girlfriend is very jealous or isolating them. They also say it's not easy to break up with someone who's abusive, so be patient as well. Robin, John. Great information that we need to hear. Cole, thank you. If you need help, you can reach out anytime to the Domestic Violence Hotline. Just call the number on your screen for help. It's open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Now this week on 10 News Today, we are focusing on ways you can keep your relationship healthy and strong in our series for better, not worse. And there's a lot we can learn from pop culture. Tomorrow morning, we are showing you positive examples from TV shows of those small things you can do to improve your relationships. Right now on WBIR.com, you can find resources to help you and your partner. There's information on local programs, counselors you can call, and apps you can download.